good afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the University of Central Lancashire, I'm delighted to warmly welcome you to this graduation ceremony. And on this special day, we are here to proudly celebrate the achievements of our students. I will now call upon our Deputy Vice-Chancellor, Lynn Livesey, to give her address. Eminent guests, graduates, families, colleagues and friends of UCLan, good afternoon. It's with very great pleasure that I welcome you all to our graduation ceremony. Graduates, today is a very important moment in your life and it's a real privilege for me to stand before you today and acknowledge all that you have achieved during your time with us. Let me start by saying I'm really excited that this week we're all creating a little bit of history here at the university, as it's the first time in 39 years that we've been able to hold our graduation ceremonies here on campus. Six weeks ago, with the future of the previous venue, Preston Guild Hall, <laughs> remaining in doubt, we decided to relocate the ceremonies. In true UCLan style, teams have come together from right across the university and responded absolutely brilliantly. They've worked around the clock to ensure that you, your families and friends have a day of celebration to remember. And I've been involved in many graduation ceremonies for the university and I have to say that the ones this week have surpassed all the others. So I'm absolutely delighted and say a huge thank you to all the staff who've been involved in bringing it together. And it's very important because we want to give you, our graduates, the very best send-off possible. To get to where you are today has been a real test of stamina and determination to succeed. You have demonstrated dedication and commitment every step of the way, working tirelessly to get to where you are on your journey. We take great pride in each of you coming to us from many different cultures and backgrounds. Some of you are the first in your families to study at university. Others are mature students with conflicting demands on your time. Many work or have families to look after. Whatever your background, remember no one is defined by their background. You are all defined by what you do and what you achieve not only now, but in the future, and the difference that you make. I wish you every success as you go on from here. Make a difference, have fulfilling lives, be proud of yourselves. Here at the University of Central Lancashire, we're proud of our history of transforming lives. Founded in Preston in 1828 as the Institution for the Diffusion of Knowledge, our motto, ex solo ad solum, which translates as from earth to sun, defines our purpose. Reach for the stars, know no limits. We're 100% committed to ensuring that you, our students, have the relevant learning, knowledge, skills and experience to thrive once you leave us. So I hope that we have helped transform your lives and opened up new worlds of possibilities equipping you with thinking and reasoning skills, commitment, resourcefulness, perseverance, and motivation. These are all attributes that employers value today. These qualities will stand you in good stead. You leave the world of education and learning to enter quite a different world to the one I experienced when I left university many years ago. Then the world seemed more secure and predictable. Now, change is a constant in our lives, and you will all need to be able to reinvent yourselves at various stages in your careers. So, what next? That's the big question. Each and every one of you will have your own dreams and aspirations. What's important is that you continue to believe in yourselves and to strive to do the best that you can in everything you do. So I hope that you enjoy the ceremony 
and also take part in the celebrations with your families and friends afterwards. We would love it if you stayed on campus and celebrated with us. You leave us today with a higher level of confidence and determination, a greater sense of self, compassion and flexibility of mind, which will ensure your success. And remember, wherever you go and whatever you do, you will always be part of the UCLan family. So now on to the next stage of the ceremony. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. The time for you to come up on stage and receive your degrees. In a minute, the names will be called out. Each student will enter on stage right, my right, as a graduate, cross the stage, shake my hand, and, and exit stage on my left as a graduate. So you will soon hold one of our degrees, and everyone here at UCLan celebrates with you and wishes you every success on your fantastic achievement. So now it's time for us to make a little bit of noise. Everyone, please let's make this a day to remember. Let's hear it for our UCLan graduates 2019. <laughs> Deputy Vice-Chancellor, the presentation of graduands and award holders will now take place. Vice-Chancellor, on behalf of the Academic Board, I present those who have gained awards in the Centre for Excellence in Learning and Teaching. For research entitled, why do I have to be outstanding? An exploration of the interplay of power and voice surrounding the concept of excellence in further education, the degree of Doctor of Education is awarded to Fiona Jean Dixon. For research entitled, What is the Meaning of International Placements for Student Nurses? A Narrative Inquiry at One University in Northwest England, the degree of Doctor of Education is awarded to Linda Sanderson. <laughs> Master of Education in Professional Practice in Education, Neil Andrew Haywood. <laughs> Postgraduate Certificate in Education, Education and Training, Chloe Abraham. Deborah Ashcroft. Lauren Lucy Elizabeth Austin. Stacey Bates. Matthew Bland. Elliot James Bradshaw. Grace Tolalupe Adebui. <laughs> Kelly Jade Burrows. <laughs> Jessica Callan. <laughs> Victoria Campbell Saunders. <laughs> Catherine Casey.
Emil Ceroulis. <laughs> Michael Gerard Davies. <laughs> Rebecca Emily Dennis. <laughs> Anya Ferreira Diaz. <laughs> Rebecca Duckworth. Christopher Elson. Christine Feeney. Judith Green. Jonathan Paul Holden. Reese Gareth Jones. Katie Kendall. <laughs> David Lightfoot. Claire Mason. Charlotte Jean McCartney. Laura McDonald. Andrew Meadows, Karen Ann Milburn, Emily Neal, Leona Maria Nicholas, Joanne Ritson. Victoria Sage. <laughs> Benjamin Stedman. <laughs> Chelsea Stewart. <laughs> Nazesh Samara. <laughs> Edwina Whitaker. Danielle Grace Whittle. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Education and Professional Studies, Sarah Amin. <laughs> Leia Beckford. <laughs> with a University Prize, Laura Kate Dickinson. Megan Sean Joy Gillies <laughs> with a University Prize, Neve Longshaw <laughs> with a University Prize, Priscilla Subber <laughs> with a University Prize, Emily Walton. With a University Prize, Lauren Weston. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Education and History, Sharon Carter. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Education and Psychology, Amy Vanessa Cuthill. Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Education and Sociology, Samantha Louise Brown. <laughs> Nadia Khan. <laughs> with a University Prize, Lois Mouncey. Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Education Studies, Veronica Anisim. <laughs> Zainab Habiba Baber. <laughs> J 
Tracy Beckett. Sarah McGranahan. Gemma McKinley. Heather Meadows. Claire O'Shaughnessy. Samavia Tarek. Catherine Wright. Certificate in Education, Education and Training, Martin Luke Aldred. Dawn Emma Bowers. Sarah Boyd. Claire Louise Brown. Catherine Louise Burns. Paul Joseph Carroll. Michelle Coward. Amy Marie Curry. Kerry Dean Forsyth. Natasha Doughty. Anthony Michael Doyle. Karen Fowler. Rafael Artur Gowatsky. Colin Stewart Jackson. Christopher Andrew Lee. Darren Leeming. Ashley Lloyd. Rebecca Lynch. Julie McKenzie. Eric Miller. Stephen Millwood. Lydia Modlinski. Kimberly Mouncey. Dara Mulhern. Catherine Mullen. Nicole Jane Neelings. Nicola Jane Roberts. Brian Rollinson. Mark Siddle. Kyle Matthew Simpson. Alana Megan Townsend. Nicola Jane Tracy. Carmen Uniac. Jennifer Vosdunning. Ryan Walker. Nicola Marie Wilson. Vice Chancellor, that concludes the presentation of awards from the Centre for Excellence in Learning and Teaching.
Vice Chancellor, on behalf of the Academic Board, I present those who have gained awards in the School of Sport and Wellbeing. For a thesis entitled The Effects of Ankle Protectors on Lower Limb Kinematics of Association Football Players, a comparison of braced and unbraced ankles, the degree of Doctor of Philosophy is awarded to Robert Graydon. For a thesis entitled Online Fandom, Exploring Community and, and Identity Formation Within Football Fan Forums, the, doc, the, the degree of Doctor of Philosophy is awarded to Daniel Nuttall. For a thesis entitled Exploring the Impact of Siblings on Talent Development in Sport, the degree of Doctor of Philosophy is awarded to Robin Taylor. For research entitled Mind the Gap, Exploring the Decline in Physical Activity at the Transition Stage of Adolescence in Glasgow Youth, the, the degree of professional doctorate in elite performance is awarded to Joseph Carley. For research entitled Genetic Testing in Sports Training, the application of a commercially available genetic profiling kit to enhance athletic performance with a focus on the determination of individual training strategies, the degree of professional doctorate in elite performance is awarded to Nicholas Jones. Professional Masters in Elite Performance, James Brain. Um, Master of Science, uh, Master of Science in, Science in Food Safety Management, Eliz Elizabeth Mary Ann Evans. Master of Science in Sports Coaching, Asad Patel. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Adventure Sport Coaching, Freya Helen. <laughs> Jessica Morrison. <laughs> Stacey Royals. Cameron Thompson. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Exercise and Fitness Management, Angela Carlisle. <laughs> Greg Hodgson. <laughs> Stephen Glenn Holland. Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Outdoor Leadership, Philip Clark Berry. <laughs> Michael George Head. 
Gabrielle Ann Smith. Daniel Stoddard. Mohamed Buhan Yamin. Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Sports Coaching, Joshua Adshed Brown. Cameron Atta. Jack Robert Banks. Elliot Best. Matthew Birkbeck. Sophie Bretherton. Stephen Harry Brown. Callum Charlton. Daniel Richard Lucas Crofts. Matthew Alex Faulkner. Joshua Fry. Robert James Gallery. Matthew Francis Garrod. Jack Luaki Hansen. Christopher John Harrison. Alexander David Holding. Liam Holt. Thomas Stephen Howarth. Sarah Jones. Ellie Louise Jones. With a university prize, Luke King. Zach Alexander Lawton. Courtney Rose McPherson. Sorry, sorry folks. Manam Mamed Manu. James Moss. Christopher Allen Percival. <laughs> Ashley Paul Phillips. <laughs> Mark Richardson. <laughs> Kane Tack. <laughs> Rebecca Thompson. Mitchell Toff. Daniel Thomas Wade. Joshua Scott Walker. Amy Rose Watson. Charlotte Alexandra White. Robert Michael Wilson. Matthew John Warsnip. Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Sports Studies. Jonathan Astbury. With a university prize, Teomi Cavill. Talia Corbett. Jack Dixon. George Fox. Leanne Bernadette Hanna.
Rodri Lloyd. Mark Mayers. Louis McElveen. Daryl Patrick McNichol. Lewis Joshua Pickering. Maxwell Jordan Povey. Fiona Reeve. Megan Catherine West. With a university prize, Lewis Williams. Mohammed Zain Ul Abidin. Bachelor of Science with honours in Sports Science, Sebastian Apter. Matthew Adam Conway. Abigail Franklin. Alex Ray Harvey. Samuel Holt. Abdullah Mahboub Khan. Aisha Bibi Mastan. Kieran John McGinnity. Matthew McGladdery. Joshua Olusun Made. Alice Smith. Bachelor of Science with Honours in Strength and Conditioning, Danielle Ben. Matthew Challoner. And with a university prize, Jamal Lindo. Daniel Makin. James Thomas Mann. Romario McIntosh. Mohammed Alim Salim. Jake Toole. Michael Tyler. George Alexander Weston. Alexander Williams. Ross Alexander Williams. Bachelor of Science with Honours in Nutrition and Exercise Sciences, Liam James Garmory. David Strickland. Bachelor of Science with Honours in Nutrition and Exercise Science, Human Nutrition, Lauren Alston. Julie Ann Barnes. And with the University Prize, Naomi Fallon. Nathan Samuel Hibbert. Vanessa Sally Bruza. With the University Prize, Rebecca Faye Townsend. <laughs> Bachelor of Science with Honours in Nutrition and Exercise Science Personal Fitness Training, Lucy Callaghan. <laughs> Catherine Emily Flanagan. <laughs> Dean Robert Daniel Hansen. 
Ross Powell. Jack Wilson. Bachelor of Science with Honours in Sport Business Management, Joseph Campion. With a University Prize, Zalika Cheek. Sean Crook. James Dealey. Adam J. Driver. Luke Edwards. Yusuf Gurji. Reese James. Patrick Kankia. Arjun Vasudev Palikara Sarish Kumar. Nicola Wainwright. Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Sports Coaching and Development, Anya Wayona Bins. Cassandra K. Bloor. Charlie James Bowling. Stephen Michael Brady. Leah Bethan Brown. Pablo Fernandez Tabola. He's milking it now. It's not really injured. Alexander Gibson. James Ian Grayson. Reese Harrah. With a university prize, Matthew David Lucas. Daniel McGrail. Gareth James Mullen. Michael Oyefeso. Stephanie Jane Reed. Michael James Tollen. Raul Villanova. Alistair Ian White. Ashley Diana Wiley. Postgraduate Certificate in Education, Education and Training, Mashir Rahman Chowdhury. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Education and History, Christia Maria McCon McConney. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Education and Sociology, Adila Ahmed. Bachelor of Science with Honours in Sports Science, Mohammed Odud Hassin Chowdhury. <laughs> Certificate of Education, Education and Training, Zara Elizabeth Warsik. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Education and Professional Studies, Andrew Billam. Vice Chancellor, that concludes the presentation of awards from the School of Sport and Wellbeing.
Deputy Vice-Chancellor, the presentations are completed. I now call upon Sophie O'Neill, Vice President of Activities from the Students' Union of the University of Central Lancashire, to respond on behalf of those awarded today. Vice Chancellor, honorary guests, excited graduates, proud family, and supportive friends. My name is Sophie O'Neill, and I'm the Vice President of Activities here at UFLAN. I'm so proud of everyone sat here today, and it is an honor to represent the students, speak on their behalf, and to you all now. The reason you're all here for this speech means you have achieved something absolutely amazing. Not just a degree, but an experience, a journey, and a huge learning curve. The time spent getting to this point was not just academic learning, it was time for personal growth and discovery, and we all gather now to celebrate your massive triumph and share the excitement of what comes after your degree. Whether it's exploring the unknown, taking advantage of further opportunities, or taking that first step towards your dream job, you did this and no one can take that away from you. Moving to university, possibly ages away from home and living in halls, or possibly commuting each day, is nothing like anything else. You all put yourselves out there to come to UCLan, to open yourself up to higher education and opportunities. Whether you've been part of a sports club or society, or a course representative, or a volunteer, you put yourself out there and contributed positive change to yourself and the university. You also worked hard, like really hard, Regardless of what course or background, university has its ups and downs, its highlights and its struggles. Whether you're doing all-nighters for that project or are trying to keep up with classwork while on placement, working a job or looking after a kid. But we cannot forget the good times. You've made friends with people that you would not have met otherwise and together you've smiled, supported, laughed and cried. You will take my moments like those with you as you continue your journey and have that bond for the rest of your lives. However, the magic doesn't stop now. You've shown everyone here exactly what you can do and that there's no stopping your potential. Keep growing and loving and learning. Say yes to those opportunities and do not be afraid. As you walk across that stage, know you deserve that moment and remember it as no one can take it away from you. On behalf of all the students here today, I'd like to say a massive thank you to both the university and the union staff for everything they've done. Your support has allowed all these people to pursue their dreams. I would also like to thank all the guests here today. You've supported the next generation of teachers, engineers, entertainers, politicians, and have shaped the lives of these graduates, so thank you. Congratulations, everyone. Graduate class of 2019, I hope you have the most amazing celebration. Today is, of course, a great day of celebration for everyone here, and we need to celebrate in an appropriate way. Friends and family, there is a really good photograph or video opportunity coming up, so if, if not already, do get your cameras handy. So, can I please ask all of you graduates to stand and take off your mortarboards? Done. We've got anticipation over here about what we're going to do. <laughs> In a moment, I'm going to ask you to wave your mortarboard. And as is the tradition at UCLan, you must wave as vigorously as you can in recognition of all your hard work and your achievements. However, do keep a tight hold of your mortarboard. Why? Because it is now yours to keep and to take home with you. So, on a count of three, I want you all to wave your mortarboards in the air and give a hearty cheer, and then we will all follow with a further three cheers. So on a count of three, guys. One, two, three. <laughs> 
So as we bring this ceremony to a close, I would like to thank everyone who has been involved in making today and this week such a happy and memorable occasion. And thank you all for coming and sharing this special day with our university community. The processional arrangements. The platform party will now leave the stage and then graduates, you will shortly be processing out of the hall. A university usher will prompt your row when you need to stand up and remember to take all of your belongings with you. Guests, please may I ask that you all remain seated until the platform party and graduates have left the hall. You will then have time to be guided by the ushers to rejoin your graduate for ongoing celebrations in the marquee at the front of Foster Building. Thank you very much. <laughs>